Uh oh. Hey, <laughs> it's time for the baseball. All right. The, the baseball. So after we've been criticized a little bit for our doings last week with the top 10, let's get into something major here. Major League Baseball started this week, so let's rank top 10 baseball movies. And for our listeners, by the way, our producer is going to stay on with us because she, she loves sense. baseball almost as much as we love the Yankees. So go ahead. Correct. Number 10, Uh-oh. Rookie of the Year. Henry Rowan Gardner. Henry Rowan Gardner. I've seen it. I'm a little old for it, I guess. It was a I little later it. in my childhood. Pretty good movie. What about Gary Busey? Oh, I Gary love Gary Busey, Busey is in this a star, movie. No matter what he does, the rocket. Excellent. This was before the accident where his brain ended up like Swiss cheese out on the I five highway. Um, he was the backup pitcher, the rocket, and yeah. he dating he hated Henry's the kid. Mom. Yeah, ends up dating Henry's mom, and he falls and all that, and then they have to do all the trick plays and shenanigans at the end. But this was a fun, fun movie. This boy goes on to play in American Pie. Um, as Kevin, he's one of the one of the kids. He's the one that makes the pact that they're all going to get laid on prom night. So Henry Rowan Gardner did grow up, but uh, of course he's a cub because everybody knows they can't win the World Series. Um, Not at that point, at least. Well, it was over a hundred years before they did it. So I well, love this the, movie. One of the wonderful things about this movie that I definitely you know attached to was that. He grew, always grew up thinking his dad was the baseball player in the family that gave him all the skill that he has when it turns out it was actually his mom. Mm-hmm. So I love that little like twist and, y- and you don't get that till the end. So it was. Really- and then you float it, you float it and he yeah, hits the floater. Float yeah. And I love the announcers in the movie. The, uh, they don't do the Bob Euchre thing for major league, but it's pretty close where they, freak out about all of the things he does but anyway number nine eight men out is the first of multiple movies on the list based in the teens and 20s we'll say yeah this would have been 1919 the white Sox threw the world series they did it with comiskey as the owner which the park is named after these days uh shoeless joe jackson among others were indicted listed whatever banned from baseball doc for throwing Weaver, the world uh, series namesake. apparently yep. in the movie he couldn't write his name eddie somebody eddie collins eddie some, he was the pitcher oh, who no. didn't win 30 games or whatever the champagne was flat they set this whole thing up with the you know the ownership being cheap and all of that um and then, of course, the mafia gets involved and they fix the game and they throw the game and all of that sort of thing. Interesting that in 1918 or 1916, Babe Ruth is for the Red Sox, but the White Sox end up winning a couple pennants before he really got rolling there in Boston and New York. So anyway, before um, the big trade, I thought the movie was OK. Um, I mean, I like baseball, it. the mob. I like Couple stuff. Of hot sets. guys. I got no complaints. Yeah. I like stuff set primarily in the twenties. Obviously, I corrected myself because I knew it was nineteen nineteen. I didn't want to say the twenties, yeah. but um, I like movies set back then, and I like baseball stuff. So, movies set back then, baseball movies set back then, are right up my alley. Well, by all account, too, it was pretty accurate. Comiskey yeah. apparently was a dickhead. I mean, I don't know that for a fact. I'm not a Chicago guy. I imagine but... most of those owners were back then. These guys didn't make much money at all. They had separate jobs in the off season and stuff. Yeah, crazy. Now, now they're the highest paid professional athletes in the world. And so, when we want to go. complain about athletes making so much money, the alternative is somebody with some pockets could come offer them some money to throw the game. I mean, them making a bunch of money kind of keeps us from that yeah. quite a bit. Yeah. Real real good period, though, too, historically. Mm-hmm. They they kept it accurate to the time. The music, the you know, the show, et cetera. Uh-oh. There we go. Number eight, Moneyball. And I looked for a picture in some of these cases that would depict the important pieces of this. And I think this picture is almost perfect. It doesn't show all. It doesn't show Chris Pratt. Go. 
as a player, don't show any of the players, because this isn't really about the players. This is about nope. wheeling and dealing of the players, and that's what this is on the boardroom. He's explaining to all these old men why they need to do things differently for the Oakland A's to win some baseball games, and it's wonderful. Yep. And you guys know it, but I forgot how stacked the A's were. Yeah. Like when they do the opening of the movie – and you see Johnny Damon and, uh, oh, God, I just lost the other guy's name, and he went to the Yankees. They talk about because and Dave Justice. Yeah, Dave, David Justice, but Damon went to the Red Sox. And and then the Yankees. And yeah. then the Yankees after the pennant, <laughs> but in the World Series in 04. But anyway, <laughs> um, I was reminded how good Oakland was Geometry. or how good they should have been anyway. And – they didn't, Both didn't make it happen. I hate, oh, that's who I it hate was. the Giambis. Jason Giambi. I used to call Jason I used to call Jason Giambi a greasy monkey. I hated him so much. Couldn't Wasn't he a him. Yankee though? I got that yes, right. Yes, I, I hate him. Yeah. I don't care. He yeah. can still be a Yankee. I can still hate him. I don't gotta <laughs> like whole, everybody. All right. The whole point being, we need money to compete. That's what Brad Pitt keeps asking for. We need money. We need money. We need money. You're not gonna keep talent if you don't pay talent. It's not that he couldn't find it. It's they couldn't retain it. At least that's the message I got from the movie. Mm -hmm. um, and it I don't know what you all worked. think. I thought it was a good movie. It was, and I think what happened was it's kind of like, you know, obviously we talked about the NCAA tournament. The Ivy Leagues run different kinds of offenses because they just don't have the players. This was kind of what that was in baseball, where the A's are a small market team. They don't have the big bucks, and they need to do something different, and they figured out a way to do that. The problem is – the Red Sox learned about that and they started doing it. And then they end up breaking their world series streak and other teams start doing it. And all of a sudden now you have the same mindset as somebody again, that has a lot more money than you do. So eventually it settled in right where it always does. And Oakland is still a problem that way. The market yeah. is still a problem for Oakland. They can't pay players to stay. And they're trying to go to Vegas, but uh, that's a big mess. Anyway, number seven, The Sandlot. Excellent Time movie. out. Kind of like Time out. Time out. Time out. Time out. How in the hell is this only number seven? All right, Who's look. voting in this poll? Like, Hold on people now. voted. We got the biggest turnout for voting that we've had the whole time. Go ahead, producer. He's, I'm cutting you off. He's going to be mad at me because I voted this one down lower because you got to wait to see what comes up higher because there's a That's lot good of good movies. movies in this category. To quote the Sandlot, you're killing me, Smalls, okay? Next, oh. you're going to not know who the great Bambino is. This was an awesome movie. It Love was. this movie. They get on the they get on the swings with the chew in their mouth and puke over everybody. <laughs> Hercules is the dog. That's so awesome. The Beast. Um, Roscoe's favorite movie character, by the way, is Hercules, the Beast. Roscoe is my 107 pound dog that I refer to as the Beast, but he's he reminds me that the Beast was a bull mastiff and he is an American pit bull. So, but this was a great movie, great childhood fun. Um, I can't believe y'all put it at number seven, though. You, you, well, you disappoint me again, you sorry. know. It'd be like if the Golden Girls didn't win sitcoms, but they went with a bullet. Well, I we started to go with a picture of Wendy Peppercorn here, but I thought you might want to see the bullets. Wendy Peppercorn, the chew scene, the great Bambino, the home run, Pickle the Beast with Vinny the Jet Rodriguez. Oh, what's and his where name? he gets Dave the ball Jones. from his dad's um, trophy case he and it says, the it ball. says Baby Ruth on there. Baby, Baby Ruth. Ruth. The great Bambino, the salt and the swat, the Colossus of Klaus. And the Listen. beast and, and the, is owned by James Earl Jones. By James who Earl supposedly, Jones. Who supposedly played with Babe Ruth. George? Yeah. You could have yeah. knocked on the door. That shit was hilarious. When then they started beating Squints up, you know, Squints Paladaris. Everybody knows him and Wendy Peppercorn got eight kids because they didn't have a good television. Some of you will right. get that joke in 10 minutes. Number six, and this was my number one, speaking of set in the 20s and baseball, The Natural. And a lot of Robert people Redford, don't know this right? movie. Robert, Robert Redford, this was, Glenn yeah. Close, excellent, mm -hmm. excellent movie. Excellent. 
confessions. Oh, and the diabetes saw. guy. That's number one right there. The manager of the team is the diabetes guy. Wilford Brimley. Wilford yes. Brimley. Put some respect on his name. This is definitely one of those movies where you're in it for the, to me, where you're in it for the acting. This is a oh, it's brilliantly acting. acted movie. I will fully admit that's not what I went through for for my number one. So, but respect for your number one. Not a movie I've ever seen. I thought that but might I... be the case. So anybody that hasn't seen The Natural, go check it out. Yes. It's about Absolutely. a lot more than baseball. That's all I'll say. (laughs) I got to count it. Number five, the Bad News Bears, the original Bad News Bears with Mr. Buttermaker, Kelly Lee, all those people. And I got a picture here that's in black and white of the whole team, Tatum (laughs) O'Neal, the pitching ace. Excellent movie. One of the reasons I used to love this movie so much is because it used to be on um i don't know what holiday but i feel like it used to be on like that night and fourth i feel like July you used to, get to watch this all, i don't know memorial like day used, fourth of july yeah something like that yeah like fourth of july or memorial yeah fourth and i feel like i used to get to watch it as a kid all the time i loved this movie it's good i thought it was great yeah. I like this one better than the remake. Honest review. Absolutely. Hands there's down. been several. I mean, mm-hmm. there was the one this is where the they one played from what? in the Astrodome. 74? This is from 74 76, or something. 76, I think. 76? Was, yeah. Okay. It's his old movie. Anyway, don't admit that. I'm why? A, I look good for my age. Because you're a cradle robber. I'm a younger man. Everybody knows. Number four, Bull Durham. This, this is my number one. This is Never a saw minor it. league baseball. Yeah, yes. true. I oh, live sixty minutes from Durham. Never saw Durham Bull Durham. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, it's about the Durham Bulls. Who don't know oh, about that? Um, minor league baseball team. I think back then they were in the Braves organization. They've switched to somebody else now. I think changed levels or whatever, but that doesn't matter. It was a great name to go along with their team and mascot, but. It was another movie that was about baseball. But not about baseball. But about a lot more than baseball. Kevin Costner. Going to be a running yep. theme. Yeah, I knew we'll it was Kevin Costner. I, bet, but, yeah. but, I mean, come on. You knew it was going to be a running theme at some point. But Kevin yeah. Costner and Susan Sarandon. And Susan Sarandon's husband. What, what is his name? Tim. Tim. Tim Robbins. Robbins. Yeah, Tim okay, Robbins Tim is Robbins. an actor. Yeah. Yeah, so, so they're all great in this. Another great movie where the woman has freedom of choice and there's no real, um, I'll call it, thumbing your nose down at her because she chooses to be with who she chooses to be with. I love this movie. This is fabulous. This was way ahead of its time, um, at least what I thought. Um, Andrew, you definitely need to check it out. You'll love it. At least um, the opening scene. The opening oh. scene, I think, is wonderful. And I don't know who wrote that. Yeah. But that is absolutely yeah. fantastic. Absolutely. All right. Number three. Speaking of Kevin Costner, we have Field of Dreams. Speaking of Iowa, if, like I said earlier, I've been doing a lot of foreshadowing today. If you build it, they will come. <laughs> Ro- so, go the distance. What was it? It was, if you build it, they will come, go the distance, and there was a third one that he heard. Um, he heard noises from the combine. Something led him. Ease his pain. Yeah. If, if you build it, they will come, ease his pain, go the distance. Those were the three messages he got Another out of the Another theme, field. James Earl Jones. He had to go find what? James Earl Jones somehow, so it had to lead him to him. Yeah, the author who was dead. Mm-hmm. Um you know, and then the wife who was crazy. I loved this movie. I think right. I don't. This one did not make number one, but it was certainly the top three for me. Um, the Burger King back in the day did the gimmick where you would go to Burger King and you would mm-hmm. order the food and they would give you the VHS or sell it to you, whatever, to go along with. Field of Dreams VHS. was in that list. I wow. wore this wow. VHS out. I yeah, just had I'm a bunch of enough- California raisins. Where, where were they giving out VHS? <laughs> 
Yeah, I'm old enough to have a VHS, homie. Okay, I know what a VCR is. Don't don't oh, chastise please. me. <laughs> don't chastise me. Hey, listen, man. You were talking about wrestling earlier. I used to go to Green's Video in Green Hill, Alabama, and I know nobody knows that place, but they had the best wrestling tapes. Anyway, carry on. I'm going to give you a hot take on this, though. Book better than the movie. Mm. Uh, written by... Campanella, I believe it is. I need to go read book that. Better book, better than the movie, and there's a couple of them. So well, he's written a few, few of them. And by the way, when he asks, "Is this heaven?" No, it's Iowa. Fuck Iowa. <laughs> go LSU. Nobody likes Iowa. Iowa stands for idiots out wandering around. And of course, you would have the in damn cornfield one of the greatest baseball movies ever in the state of Iowa, just so we could chastise it later. Well, he had to have corn to mow down. Anyway, number two. Nebraska Corn Huskers. A league of their own. Yeah, Another beautiful movie. Fabulous movie. This, the, I, I know what's number one, because there's no way it's oh, not. Oh, yeah, there's no question. But so I this were my top see... three. These are I'm my thrilled. top three. Yes, yeah. I'm thrilled to see this movie so high because I'll be honest, usually you you don't see a lot of guys who lo- think this movie is very high. Oh, I love and... this movie. M- one of my favorite scenes is Marla Hooch. So <laughs> <laughs> what do you recommend? A lot of makeup and a lot of night games. When they're trying to make her pretty. <laughs> this is a really what... good cast, though. I mean. What... Yeah, uh, Gina, Gina Davis. Tom Hanks. Um, Madonna. Yeah. Rosie Tom O'Donnell. Hanks, Madonna, Rosie O'Donnell. Um, whatever, the sister, whatever the sister's name is, Kit. John Lovitz, the shitty agent. Mm-hmm. What is like, her name? What do you about? What do you got to say goodbye to the cows when he gets all <laughs> mad? <at him>? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that whole thing. Um, I, I love this movie, and like when he goes and he takes a piss at the beginning of the movie, he's drunk, and they they know him. Jimmy Dugan was his name, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. in the yep. movie. Mm-hmm. Um. And Madonna starts timing it. She's like, give me your watch. Give me your watch. That's some good peeing. Um, but when this... Marla Marla does karaoke, they're like, what did you do? We gave her a dress and a lot of liquor. And she got her up on stage drinking. And of course, this movie... it's set during World War II. No baseball yeah. because all the men are away. And that's why you get it. Now, go ahead, Allison. I didn't mean to interrupt you. No, no, no. No, you're right. Uh, This movie actually inspired me to finally go to Cooperstown um, because they did have a section in Cooperstown dedicated to the women of baseball. And I'd always wanted to go. I'd always said I was going to go. You know, when I saw this movie, that was it. I was like, well, now I I have to go. I have to see this. And so glad I did it. It was so great. I went for my birthday one year. Well, I'll oh, say I think this. I went with the. I think I went with the Brit. I'll say this because it, it it is the truth. The Brit. When I was eleven, my twelve year old female cousin decided to play baseball instead of softball. And she hit two home runs, and we used to give my college roommate crap because a girl hit a home run off. Of <laughs> but she was good. Oh, she there made all it stars is. And everything. Number one. Major League, you should have seen it come. And I tried to find a picture that represented everything. Got the owner there. Got Serrano. Corbin Burnson. Yeah, yeah. Roger Willie Mays Hayes. Yeah, Willie Mays Jake Hayes. Taylor. Got my favorite, California Penal League. <laughs> um, the only one we don't have is Ed Harris. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and he was so good. He was uh, Joe hey, Boo. Hey, bartender. Joe Boo needs a refill. <laughs> <laughs> he was such a dick. You signed oh, to I say Jesus Christ came to hit the curveball. <laughs> he was excellent. Uh, oh, he was so good. Uh, so good. I I love the premise that they want the team to be so bad that they'll move them out of Cleveland. And you know I mean, what's he, happening in fair. Oakland right now? The mistake on Were the lake. Tell him, Allison. That? Let's be fair. Cleveland sucks. Cleveland Nobody sucks. wants to be in Cleveland. Well, you've been Summer talking about Square. that a lot. Man. What the hell? Um, <laughs> no, my favorite, though, is when 
well, it's not my favorite. This whole movie's great. But he calls Lou and he opens the he, that's who you're missing. You're missing Lou, Lou. in the picture. I am missing Lou. He says, Hey, Lou, this is Charlie. How'd you like to manage the Indians? Oh, I don't know, Charlie. I got some tires on the way, whatever he says. Oh, man. This is this is a shot to actually manage in the big leagues. And I'll have to think about it, Charlie. <laughs> I love, I love when they're in the playoffs and he's in the hospital and he's secretly listening to the game. Uh, yeah. And um, That's the second he's one, supposed to be yeah. watching like British comedy or whatever. And the nurse comes in when something just happened. And he goes, oh, this British shit. Yeah. <laughs> That's the second movie, by the way. That's Major League Two. Oh, is it? Um, where they substitute uh, Wesley Snipes out for Omar Epps. But anyway. Right. Oh. Um. Yeah, your boy knows things. Don't worry about it. But yeah, I love Major League. I thought this was great. When um, wild thing as he is gets the glasses, you know, I'm gonna get something more me. But he's got them red glasses. My uh, what's his name? Ed Harris says my my wife had a pair just like him or whatever. My aunt says <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he got the damn glasses on. But you need to teach him some control before he kills somebody out here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then then Renee Russo's in the movie. You know, oh, great actor. Yeah, yeah, she is. Though, because um, again, best. it's not just about baseball, but Mm-mm. really good. Oh, the library scene where she snaps back at him. I don't remember exactly what she said, but that was excellent. Yeah. It was I so interesting. Right, she does. 